Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be looking at Mythical Awaken Freya and Truth's remake in Arena. I've been super excited for this update as you guys already know. This video is going to be in two parts. The first part is going to talk about Freya and the second part will be talking about Truth. Okay, so for Freya, I'm using this hybrid magic team. And from now on, I think I'm going to skip talking about the skills because you guys can read that on your own. I'm going to just jump straight into hero, um, the sense I get from the hero, okay? And it's unfortunate that my Rosie actually used her healing skill first. Uh, but anyway, for Freya, I think she's a pretty good support magic unit. Okay, she is one that buffs crit damage for all allies if you look at her passive. And she also provides paralyzed immunity for your entire team for 12 turns. So usually at the speed of arena right now, 12 turns, you definitely can end the match by then, I think. Okay, so 12 turns, I think it's enough for you to not use the paralyzed uh, status resist resistance trait. And critical damage increase for all allies, which means that all your heroes, your Fenra, your Fi is gonna hit really, really hard, provided they are given the crit and lethal gear setup. She also has a remove diva from her skill if you unlock her exclusive item. So the cleanse is also very very useful. And she's about to use her awakened skill which you will see the damage. She uses blind here. So blind is still somewhat a status that rarely people have resistance against. So it's really useful at this point. However, I'm not sure you know after this video and in the upcoming weeks how will people respond to blind because I think blind resist is gonna go up since you can forgo paralyzed resist and stun resist now if you use truth. So blind resist is definitely gonna be something. However, you saw the damage just now from Freya. Freya actually deals pretty good damage and the reason why is because she actually has a lot of fixed damage, right? She deals 20,000 fixed damage on her awakened skill. And you know, if you use the Galidus Madness or the event accessory from Fenris period, you can actually increase this fixed damage output. And if you have the Celestial accessory that increases fixed damage percentage by 40% when maxed out, that's gonna do insane amount of damage. So Freya has very good damage output in that sense. She also deals 400% magic damage on top of the fixed damage. So that's why there were so many numbers going on. But apart from that, I think why Freya really shines is because fixed damage lets her become immune in a way to all the status reductions. You have Sage reducing lethal and crit rate, you have um, I don't know what else. I think there are heroes that reduce magic damage if I'm not wrong, okay? But fixed damage bypasses all that and that is where she really really shines because she is not affected by all these current meta statuses, okay? And I think that is why she is slightly better than Truth in a way. I, I won't say Truth is bad, but later we'll talk about her. And over here, this is her bottom skill. It deals 400% magic damage to 4 enemies, ignores defense and exploits vulnerability. So the exploits vulnerability also gives her additional damage output, which is really, really neat. So how should you gear your Freya? For my case, I gave her crit and lethal, okay? And I also gave her double HP, and I also gave her a willful ring and a Galidus madness to increase that fixed damage output. For her jewels, I've given her survive on 1 HP, increase awakening gauge charge speed as well as reflect immunity because I realized that when I face enemy suitors and truths, I get hit back with a lot of damage and my Freya dies very very fast. So I think having reflect immunity is very important especially since she is a fixed damage dealer. Okay, And I gave her blind resist, electrify resist and silence resist. Previously, I did give her lethal rate increase, you know, just to increase that damage output for some reason. Even though she relies mainly on fixed damage, but nonetheless, yeah, that's what I gave her. But now I have 3 resistances on her, which I think is a better way to go about things. I also have her exclusive item unlocked. You have to have her exclusive item unlocked, that's super super good. And for fighters, so I've given her defense because I don't have the magic attack one. Reduce damage from offensive enemies. Increase status cash rate. Okay, and increase damage on offensive and universal. So this lets her deal more damage to a lot of the current meta heroes, especially offensive heroes, like the truth you're seeing now. The truth deals a lot of damage as well, and even though there was no, you know, uh, crit, it still dealt a lot of damage. So in a sense, I'm just going to talk about the team now. My team is really relying on Rosie a lot. I realized because when I took her out. 
I think my units got pretty frail, which is very interesting because previously we were all saying that Rosie doesn't really shine, but she does, <laughs> okay? And maybe Freya is also, you know, having the Rosie buff, so she deals a lot more damage. Rosie here does reduce damage from the universal heroes, reduce the 5 target damage as well. So this really protects Freya because I think most people will say that Freya is kind of like a glass cannon, right? And with Freya and Rosie on the team, I can safely uh, heal and cleanse my heroes as and when. And I think that's a very good thing to have because currently you have too many statuses. So you just have to make sure that you know your Freya and your Rosie uh, are immune to certain kind of resistances that don't let them use skills. So you have to let them use their skills. So that will include silence and electrify resist, which I think are the more important ones. However, she's not like Fenrir of Fi, okay? She don't, she will not live to the end of the battle, uh, which I don't think is a big issue because she has done her job. In fact, you know, her 12 turn paralysis, even though it gets reduced along the way, I think it doesn't really matter as much as well. And overall, I think her design and her remake is pretty good. So we're going to look at the next match here. Here I'm facing a physical oriented team with Sage. Okay, there is a Chris. Uh, unfortunately, I used the heal skill first again, which is very bad because I have no debuffs. Over here, Sage reduces my lethal crit rate, I believe. And he doesn't target Freya because Freya doesn't have the highest uh, attack stats, which is okay. I mean, even if he does hit my Freya, I don't think I'll be super affected because of her fixed damage. Here he raises, uh, he casts poison, I mean. And here there's a formation change as well. I think that was from the Lu Bu. I can't remember. But in any case, I think it's still pretty alright. Fenra hits super hard. Okay, so Fenra is still uh, pretty much the god tier kind of hero. You need to have Fenra. Fenra's lethal, 50% lethal buff is just huge. Okay, I don't know how they're gonna face him out. Unless they make another hero that's exactly the same passive. Otherwise, I don't think Fenra will be phased out at all. Fenra is just so, so important. And once again, my Freya is ready with her Awakened skill. Uh, you can see that, unfortunately, Sage takes precedence over Freya. And actually, by this time, I don't think Freya's Awakened skill is going to do much because I've already brought the enemy down to their immortal forms. Um, unfortunately, she died without using her Awakened skill. So let me know what you guys think of Freya if you have tested her. I think she is really nice and I can't wait to see how much more synergy the magic meta can come about after Regen Leaf is going to be released in October. And it's pretty interesting. So we're going to move on to Trude now. Uh, Trude is going to use a physical team. okay? But my Freya is my speed leader because unfortunately I have two celestial speed magic items. So I have no choice but to use a magic speed leader. Uh, if not, I'll be outspared. So Freya is going to be my speed leader and just to add on Freya's um, effect attack actually reduces block rate of the target by 50% for four, 3 turns. So Truth goes Okay, she deals a lot of damage as well, as you can see, even though there were some blocks, some no non-crits, she still does a lot of damage and she is pretty much a glass cannon. Okay. And she's my counter hero as well, and she has an electrify uh, ring. That's why you know later on you'll see that she electrifies and her bottom skill well wow, hits super hard. Like in just one hit. It hits super hard and unfortunately she got electrified so you won't get to see her weakened skill until later. Um, basically what I think for Truth, okay. Her passive, she does give stun immunity for 12 turns. And she has a berserker ring effect and she has reflect. So kind of like Freya, um, she does provide a, a group immunity, an ally team immunity. But she does not really buff the team in any other way beyond that. Okay, unlike Freya, who has a crit damage increase. So for Truth, I would say, you know, if you want to use her in PvE, it will really just be for the immunity and not for um, 
any other usage because she doesn't buff the team in any way. She does remove shields with her top skill which is pretty unique because currently there's no hero in the meta that uses shields except maybe a uh, suitor or Mr. Armor which is the pet. So it may give us a hint that few in future Awak Myth Awaken Rudy could have shield providence. Providence, right? It's kind of like Evan. So we'll see about that. Because if that's the case then Truth will check for Mythical Awaken Rudy already. So how did I gear my Truth? Basically I also gave her Lethal and Crit. I did test her with the speed build. Okay, I did test her with the speed build. Um basically to land effect attacks more because Truth actually has a very high chance to land effect attacks, 50%. And her effect attack has no additional effect, uh, but has increased damage output. So if you can give her the speed build, I think it will be very sweet as well. She can be the attack leader in fact. She will do a lot of damage from the get go and I've seen her uh, do her effect attack. It can hit something like Chris's amount. So maybe, you know, accessory wise, you can also give her the hit twice on basic attack um, accessory. That would be pretty neat and pretty strong as well. My Freya is doing a lot of damage. Um, for armor wise counter of course as I said. And for accessory here I've given her the Guardian Ring and the Electrify. For jewels I've given her physical attack increase, counter rate and crit rate. Kind of weird. This is our Awakened skill. 700, 777,000. That was insane. So basically with her awakened skill, she also life steals and it will heal her back to full health, I think pretty much no matter what. Okay. And yeah, as you saw, the damage from True is insane. True is seriously insane in terms of damage wise. But that is provided you do give her the crit and lethal build. Because I tried her with the speed build and I was thinking how come she's not doing that kind of insane damage as like I think she would, so I think the crit and lethal is the way to go for her unless you know you want to use her as an attack leader then that's a different story. And for her traits, I've given her skill use chance because for the sake of the video I have to use skill use chance otherwise she's not going to move. I've also given her bleed and poison resist because she's my counter hero so I want her to be you know resistant against these bad statuses which affect her countering. Of course, I think Electrify Resist is an important one here because she is kind of, she was kind of being electrified by enemies when she used her skill. For her Fighter Sword, I gave her Physical Attack Increase, Defense Increase, HP Increase, HP Screens is too far behind. Uh, increased damage on Offensive and Universal Heroes as well to maximize her damage output. And basically, that's it for her build. And um. I see her moving less than Freya. My Freya is just really going all out in a lot of the matches. Um, so it's very hard for me to say much because Truth also dies very quickly. <laughs> I don't dare to give her a Willful Ring because I'm afraid of Bulk, but Guardian Ring seems to work pretty okay. Okay, she got her Awakened skill up now, so she's gonna try to use it uh, soon, I think. Yeah, so the life drain and she also does turn decrease, I think. Yeah, she also has turn reduction. So both True and Freya do have turn reduction which is very good for the current meta, especially against enemy fights. But yeah, she does have to live that long to use her awakened skill though. And it hits a lot, as you saw. So I think um, there is still a lot of optimization that needs to be done and yeah I forgot to talk about the team. <laughs> Basically I'm using cult because of reflect. I think right now you don't see too many truths. Again her top skill does a lot of damage. Even though it's not at its maximum potential with crits and lethal okay. Um, yeah so as I was saying cult. Cult here is really just to provide Reflect immunity to the front line so I can save on one jewel slot. I think reflect immunity is pretty important, especially if you see more troops entering arena. I think you really, really want the reflect immunity. Her reflect of 50% is insane. It hits a lot and she's electrifying the enemies very well. Okay, so that's Colt's role, and Colt can help to boost damage output for my entire team as well in terms of increasing the damage the enemies take and also have, having armor destruction. Uh, in terms of 
I think Fenrir and Fi is pretty standard and then I'm using Freya because I need a magic hero and Freya just you know happens to be the latest one that I can try to use I also thought of using Sage and Rosie but I tried with Rosie and the problem is I was so badly hit by Paralyze so I realized that I needed Freya just for this video and until I can optimize my traits properly to have a good team I think I will stick to this for now the good thing about this is that you know you can really save on adjusting your traits or rather you know if you do have paralyzed traits already then you may want to consider if you want to use Freya and spend more because if you if you use Freya you were gonna spend more topaz to change those traits which that's what I did and it it really took a big toll on my topaz count okay so that is something you want to consider some units may not need to be used um, to save on resources okay yeah basically that's my review for Freya and Truth I think they are both really really good right now and, and their remakes really did them justice so let me know what you think of both of them and if you have tried them in arena which one do you prefer are you on team offensive or team magic let me know in the comments stay tuned for more videos thank you so much and see you